Hello everyone. In our previous video, we have discussed about ER diagrams and its various components. Proceeding further, let us see a degree of relationship. Now, when we talk in terms of degrees of relationship in DBMS, it represents the number of entity types that associate in a relationship. How many entity types or entity sets associate in a relationship? Now, based on the number of linked entity types, we have divided it into unary, binary, ternary and nary in general. Let us see, what do you mean by a unary relationship? In this type of relationship, both the associating entity type are same. That means, in other words, in a relation only one entity is participating. Then, such a relationship is known as unary relationship or also recursive relationship. That is, say student, uh, say for example, monitor, a student himself or otherwise one of the student itself is the monitor of the class, is the monitor of the class. Let us see a student related as he is the monitor. He one among the student or otherwise we can put it as employee, okay, employee manages other employees. So, manager is an employee, manager is also an employee. So, only one entity type is involving or participating in the relationship is called as unary relationship or a person getting married to a person. Okay? Yeah. Coming to binary relationship, this is the most common type of relationship. There are two types of entity, there are two types of entities associated a relation when two entity sets are participating, it is called as binary relationship. We spoke about teacher teaching a subject or student taking up a course, enrolling into a course. Okay? So, when we talk about two entity sets participating in a relation, it is binary. Coming to ternary relationship, here in this three types of entities are associated, a course is conducted in classroom and teacher takes up the class or you can say student enrolls into a course and on completion he will be given a certification. So, that certificate itself is a entity where I talk about certificate number and certificate issued to which student for which course for which grade all these things will be there, but three types of entities are associated with the relationship is called as ternary. Furthering, it can be nary, 4, 5, whatever may be the number of entity types that are associated. Here, when we talk about a whole uh, learning system, teacher teaches for a particular class, for a particular course in a particular location and teacher earns this salary. So, when we talk about it, multiple entity types associated in a relationship is called as NRA relationship. Okay. Now, here even before proceeding to the next type of relationship, let us take up a small case study and try to draw the ER diagram by putting all these concepts together. Look at this, construct an ER diagram for a car insurance company whose customers own one or more cars and they are associated with zero or more accident records. How do I design it? This is an elementary design. You can enhance this design by deeper understanding and adding more required attributes and tables. Now, look at this. We have taken three entities there basically, person, car and accident. A person owns multiple cars and with the particular car, there may be zero or more accident records. Some of the features that have been included, car, a person will have license, that is license number, address and name. He owns a car, every car he owns has its own RC, the model, the year of purchase or otherwise whatever the details you wanted to store about the car. 
then if it is involved in accident when i say that accident person the driver of the car the car itself and the accident where it happened on which date it happened what is the report number there will be a fir judged whatever it is all these things this can be one of the simple example of basic level of er diagram the same er diagram same scenario can be extended with more features for as a sample i have taken some of the attributes and shown it so this is how er diagrams are represented as the number of entities and relationship increase the diagram becomes more and more complex coming to the advanced feature some of the additional types of relationships here we talk in terms of something called as generalization generalization is a concept of like how you have learnt inheritance super class and sub class it is something like that but this is a bottom up approach like two or more entities at the lower level are combined to form a higher level of entity that is generalization is same as your sub class super class concept but in bottom up look at this example employee and customer are the two persons or people who are related in a particular association in a particular organization employee of that particular organization as well as customer now in general both of them are person so i can generalize this bottom up approach which says person so what happens person as a general may have the common features and then these sub ones the lower level ones may have a specific identities okay this is that bottom up approach generalization is represented with this kind of triangle next one is specialization this is a top down approach a higher level of entity is divided into sub types sub types this is called as top down the super class and the sub class concept so if we see look at the example there may be an account in the bank but accounts are of two types current account or savings account so account has got account number and balance which is automatically will be there for both the sub types but in addition current account may have the transaction details and the savings account may talk about the rate of interest so this is a specialization concept coming to aggregation this is another advancement in representing the uh, relationship in uh, er diagrams so aggregation is going to be grouping of things aggregation talks about relation between two entities is treated as a single entity now what is this the relations corresponding to a higher level entity or it can be look at this a coaching center offers a course now this relationship i treat as one entity and that is associated with another entity called as visitor this is because visitor when he enquires he will not only enquire only about the course he also wants to know about the center so center and course together are associated with the visitor who comes for the enquiry so this is an example of your aggregation concept or we are university offers the course and student enrolls student enrolls into a course which is offered by the university university has got different courses offered so he will look into it as a single entity now finally let's talk in terms of something called as participation constraints now participation constraint actually defines the number of relationship instances which an instant must compulsorily participate like when i say the types are total participation or partial total is mandatory that means at least one instant should be associated with another entity whereas partial is optional let's look into it total participation when i say this it specifies that each entity of an entity set must be compulsorily participated in at least one of the relationship instant in the relationship set that means look at this student enrolls into a course 
every student must compulsorily enroll into at least one course. So, minimum that is compulsory mandatory participation and this is represented with a double line between the relationship, the relationship and entity double line says mandatory compulsory every student must be enrolled into a course otherwise he is not called as a student at all. Coming to partial participation here that is each entity in an entity set may or may not participate in a relationship. Now, look at this student enrolls into a course. It is mandatory for student to enroll into a course, but there may be some of the courses where nobody has opted for it. There may be no students into that course. So, this is a partial participation whereas, this is mandatory participation. So, a regular line says partial there is no compulsion. So, this is all about the participation. Uh, levels that is uh, partial or total participation. Well, in our next lecture, we will see an example of conceptual design using ER model one or two case studies. Thank you all.